I'm gonna show you a video that depicts Carrie Lake once again exploiting half truths and misinformation. Here's the video. Clinton, Trump is an illegitimate president. Is she an election denier? This one says, was the 2016 election legitimate? It now definitely is a question worth asking. That's the Los Angeles Times. So it's okay for Democrats to question elections, but it's not okay for Republicans. So Carrie Lake calls Hillary Clinton an election denier and likens her statements and the ones uh, she read from the Los Angeles Times to election denying claims by people like herself, like Donald Trump, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. But don't be fooled because once again, Carrie Lake wants you to believe a reality that just doesn't exist. Hillary Clinton is not an election denier and neither is that editorial by the LA Times. And I'm gonna show you why. Hillary Clinton did use the word illegitimate to describe President Trump, but she didn't mean the election was stolen because if you look at the second half of her statement, she linked that characterization to activities like voter suppression and voter purging, in addition to misinformation campaigns, but most importantly, to the fact that Donald Trump had lost the popular vote. Additionally, and I think more importantly, she's not an election denier because she congratulated Trump on his victory. She gave a 24 minute concession speech and even participated in Donald Trump's inauguration. Also, this is the total number of lawsuits that she filed. Now onto that LA Times editorial. Now, Carrie Lake mentioned the title and she's correct in the title, but she fails conveniently to mention the content of the title, which much like Hillary Clinton is complaining about the fact that Donald Trump did not win the popular vote, was helped by electoral college technicalities, was helped by dark money and voter suppression certainly was an element. The article also mentions Russian disinformation, and we have plenty of evidence of that. Now, by contrast, Trump never officially conceded he lost. He started 56 lawsuits regarding election fraud, 14 of which were dismissed, 33 were dropped, and five were ruled against. Did he win any? Yeah, he won one lawsuit in Wisconsin that granted him a temporary restraining order. There's a substantial difference between questioning the legitimacy of a president that does not win the popular vote and is helped by things like misinformation, Russian bots, and voter suppression, and a series of unfounded claims of the election was stolen. And make no mistake about it, Carrie Lake is fully aware of this. But we also all know that handlers like her do not deal with facts this way.